Hello, and welcome to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and we are once again speeding up speedy entry. Specifically, I'm going to look at tuplets and how we can use and manipulate tuplets right from within speedy entry. Now, if you remember from the very first lesson, I did give you a, a very brief, quick, quick uh, lesson on how to create uh, tuplets in Finale. So let me just review real quick. It's just option and then number uh, anywhere from 2 to 8 to create some sort of tuplet. So in this case, we could do option 3. And that will start a tuplet. And then once we choose a rhythm, that will be the definition of the tuplet. So in this case, I put an eighth note and then two eighth notes, two more eighth notes, and we get an eighth note triplet. All right. The important concept of that that I want you to understand is that when you start a tuplet, the, f the next following rhythm that you enter will define the rhythm of that tuplet, right? So if I enter a triplet, if I enter, if the next rhythm I enter is a quarter note, it's going to be a quarter note triplet, an eighth, an eighth note rhythm uh, triplet, a sixteenth, a sixteenth note triplet, etc. This has some important implications to it. Um, for example, one thing that you can do with that is that if I uh, were cr to create a quarter note triplet, for example, I've hit the, quor the quarter note to begin the triplet. So now this triplet is defined as a quarter note triplet. But once I've done that, I can do anything else that I want. So from here, if I wanted to, I could enter two eighth notes followed by another quarter note and get a quarter note triplet with the sort of mixed rhythms in the middle of it, just like that, all right? Um, one of the Im most important things about this is that uh, there's a common mistake that people make with the swing rhythm where you have uh, triplets with quarter note eighth, quarter note eighth, um, all with, with uh, the triplet bracket. And um, people run into the problem because they try to create this literally. So they'll do option three and then create you know, a, a quarter note followed by an eighth note. And then they think that the triplet's done. But in fact, you'll see that the triplet hangs over, there's extra space, and then th th it doesn't quite, it, it's not quite right. The reason being is because Finale thinks that you've started a quarter note triplet and just by adding one eighth note, you're not finishing the quarter note triplet, right? So it's it, that's why you're getting that incorrect notation. To do this correctly, it's a little strange, but you do option three for the triplet, create the eighth note first. Now, once you create that note, again, you're defining the triplet as, a as an eighth note triplet. Then you can go back, hover over it, and change the rhythm by pressing five to get the quarter note, and then write another eighth note, right? And you can continue on like this. So triplet, quarter, change to uh, eighth, change to quarter, and then eighth, right? And that's how you would do that particular swing rhythm. Again, it's you have to define the triplet first as, a, as an eighth note triplet before you write the quarter note, right? Now, in reality, there are some uh, plugins actually that will do this automatically for you. So if you have a string of these, it's, it's a little, you know, cumbersome to keep doing it that way. Um, but there are some plugins where you can just write straight eighth notes and then, you know, run the plugin and it'll it'll turn it into this uh, rhythm. But uh, th what I just showed you is the manual way of how to do that in case you need to do it, you know, every once in a while here or there. All right. One other neat thing that that uh, that we can do with this, another implication is that um, we can create nested triplets or nested tuplets like this, right? So let's say I want to create another quarter note triplet. So we'll do option three for a triplet. And we'll start a quarter note triplet, right? From here, before I go any further, I can create another triplet within the triplet. So now I can do option three again and create three eighth notes, for example, and then one more quarter note to finish out the first tuplet, the first triplet, and we get that. Now, the tuplet brackets don't always um, end up in the right places by default, but uh, y you can move them pretty easily. And you'll get your nested tuplet like that, all right? Um, so that's, that is how that would work. Um, now, uh, another thing you'll notice that, you know, you can use dup uh, tuplets between 2 and 8. In fact, in the, the number pad diagram here, you, you see begin tuplet 2, begin tuplet 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There is none for 9, and there is none for 1. And, but obviously you could have, you know, 9 tuplet, 10 tuplet, 11 tuplet, and stuff like that in music. So how would you get those? Well, that's where the define tuplet comes in, and this is option 1. And if we're in speedy entry and we press option 1, and I should point out that it's option 1 on the number pad only. Um, and for some reason, uh, it doesn't work with the number row. Actually, in a, on a Mac laptop, you can do option function 1 to get here. And what happens is you get the tuplet definition dialog box 
up here. And all the stuff in the bottom part of it, um, I'm going to get to it at a later date. Uh, I'm going to do a, a special video just on triplets, and we'll talk about all of these things. But uh, the, the, the important part of this for right now is the very top of it. And this is where you're defining the rhythmic value of the tuplet. And you can see it's fairly simple. You're just There's a box here, X amount of eighth notes in the space of X amount of whatevers. So in this instance, the, the default is three eighth notes in the space of two eighth notes. But you can change that number to anything you want. You can pull this down and get anything from halves to sixty-fourths and dotted notes in between some of them. So um, there's a lot you can do. So let's say I wanted to create uh, ten... Let's put 10 32nd notes in the space of 8 32nd notes, all right? That's how you would do that. 10 in the space of 8 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and click OK. And now from here, I can just enter 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, I can enter 10 32nd notes and get a 10 tuplet that way, all right? So that's how you can do that. And you can, you can use that tuplet definition box in any way that you need to. Um, you know, you can do some funky stuff, uh, even like, you know, <laughs> seven eighth notes in the place of five or something, right? As long as you're kind of, as long as the notation is clear for w in whatever way you're doing that, it's, you know, it's all possible. Um, one more thing I want to mention about tuplets has to do with compound meter. Now, in, in simple meter, you know, you can have tuplets of, of three, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, etc., but you, a tuplet of two and four and eight don't really make sense in a simple meter, right? But they do make sense in a compound meter. So, for example, in 12-8, you could have two eighth notes in the space of three. And by default, when you enter um, tuplets via speedy entry with the, with the shortcuts option number, um, it two will give you two eighth notes in the space of three eighth notes. Four will give you four eighth notes in the space of three eighth notes as well, right? That's just how that works. So again, so option two, we can enter in two eighth notes and that tuplet is done. Option four, we can enter four eighth notes and that tuplet's done. Um, however, that's where it ends. If you enter option five, for example, and try to put five eighth notes in the space of three eighth notes or, or one dotted quarter, doesn't quite work out. And we can see that because if we go into the triplet tool here and uh, double click, this will pull up the definition box and it will show you that what it's doing is putting five eighth notes in the space of four, right? So in the case of something like this, um, where you might want to do five eighth notes in the space of three, this is where you're going to have to use that um, tuplet definition box again. So again, option one, and we can do whatever we want here, right? So we'll do five eighth notes in the space of three eighth notes instead of four. Click OK, and now for five, we can have our five eighth notes correctly in the space of three. All right, so that would be um, uh, how you would manage with, with compound meters. I just wanted to bring that up because it, compound meters do um, pull two and four into play, but everything else you're going to have to kind of define my manually, as it were. All right. Um, so that's the, the, the basic gist of, uh, of tuplets and speedy entry. Um, I hope this has been helpful. Again, I'm going to do a special lesson on tuplets, and we'll talk about some of the, the um, vi viewing options and stuff like that and some other advanced options. But uh, for now, this is a, a pretty good, uh, thorough investigation of tuplets and how it works with speedy entry. So I hope this has helped, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.